Hello student, uh, welcome back to this topic of uh, digital to analog converter. So in the last session, I have explained uh, a practical digital to analog converter. And uh, uh, I have shown that just uh, uh, the ladder network is not enough to convert a digital signal into an analog signal lot of other things are also required like uh, gating system at the input level and uh, the rs flip flop for the storage of information and the level amplifier uh, level amplifiers uh, for checking up of the uh, full scale uh, voltage so all the other things are required to convert uh, successfully a digital signal into an analog signal. So in this session, I am going to explain uh, how to test a digital converter. So the digital to analog converter testing uh, is a simple uh, but important test uh, that can be performed uh, to check the proper operation of the digital to analog converter or these two these are the uh, two tests uh, that we can perform uh, or conduct uh, on a digital to analog converter to know its uh, performance so they are the steady state accuracy test the first one is that uh, we can conduct the steady state accuracy test and uh, second one is the monotonicity test so these two tests we can conduct uh, or we can carry out uh, on a digital to analog converter uh, to know its uh, performance so the first uh, <clears throat> the first test that is uh, steady state accuracy test involves setting a known digital number or signal in the input register and measuring the analog output with an accurate meter and comparing with the theoretical value that means we have to set an known digital input voltage at the register section and uh, we have to measure the analog output uh, with an accurate meter and we have to check or we have to compare uh, that uh, output analog output uh, with the theoretical uh, value so in this way we can uh, conduct or we can carry out uh, a steady state accuracy test on an uh, digital to analog converter this is the first test the second test is that checking for monotonicity means checking that uh, the output voltage increases regularly as the input digital signal increases that means if uh, you are increasing the digital input signal continuously there should be continuous increase in the analog output voltage also proportionally <clears throat> this can be accomplished by using a counter as the digital input signal and uh, observing the analog output uh, on an uh, oscilloscope so you can connect an counter at the input uh, uh, stage of a uh, digital to analog uh, converter to increase the digital uh, input signal and uh, output uh, we have to uh, see on an uh, a CRO means the uh, uh, oscilloscope and we have to check it for proper for proper monotonicity the output waveform should be a perfect uh, staircase waveform as shown in the figure so for a proper monotonicity test the output 
of the analog signal in the, in the oscilloscope, oscilloscope should be uh, and stairs case uh, uh, waveform as shown in this figure. So this is a staircase uh, waveform. It's called as a stairs case waveform because it looks like a you know, staircase. That is the reason. The steps on the staircase waveform must be equally spaced and of the exact same amplitude. So here you can see these steps are equally spaced and their amplitude means height are also same. Missing steps or steps of different amplitude or steps in the downward fashion indicate the malfunction. Suppose if some steps are missing here and if the amplitude is not uh, equal in all the steps or in a downward fashion staircase uh, 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 indicates uh, the malfunction, means uh, we have to mean that uh, um, this uh, digital to analog converter is not working properly. So this is how we can uh, uh, check the uh, uh, performance of a digital to analog converter by carrying out uh, these two tests. So next uh, I am going to explain uh, other things of this digital to analog converter. So next uh, I will move to this point uh, that is digital to analog accuracy and resolution. So we will see what, are, what is the meaning of accuracy and resolution of uh, and a digital to analog uh, converter. Two very important aspects of the digital to analog converter are the resolution and the accuracy of the conversion. So accuracy is a measure of how close uh, the actual output voltage is to the theoretical output value. For example, uh, you 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 mean that uh, the theoretical output value is uh, is 10 volt the theoretical output value is 10 volt then what is the output analog output of the that digital to analog converter we have to check so uh, suppose that it may be 9 volt 9.5 volt 9.8 volt 10 volt 10.5 volt, 11 volt, like that, different possibilities are there. So as per theory, we should get a 10 volt as the analog output. Suppose the analog output, practical output is around 9.8 volt or 9.9 .9 volt, we have to mean that it is, it is of high accuracy or the accuracy is more because uh, the practical value is very close to the theoretical value. <clears throat> Suppose if uh, it is around 9 volt, uh, but theoretical output value is 10 volt, then there is a lot of one uh, difference. Uh, a difference of one volt is there between theoretical and uh, 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 practical output, uh, then accuracy is less. So in this way, we are judging accuracy of an digital to Analog converter. <clears throat> the accuracy of the digital to analog converter is primarily a function of the accuracy <clears throat> of the uh, precision resistors used in the ladder and uh, the precision of the reference voltage supply used. <clears throat> so the accuracy of this digital to analog converter is primarily dependent on the accuracy of the precision resistors used in the ladder. So this ladder network, which is a R2 to R uh, uh, ladder network, uh, it is made, it is uh, completely uh, made up of uh, resistors. It is completely made up of the resistors. So the accuracy of the resistors is very, very important. Higher the accuracy or precision in the in the register value the accuracy of the digital to analog converter will also be high and uh, 
precision of the reference voltage uh, supply uh, i have uh, in the last session uh, i shown uh, uh, the a reference supply voltage is used uh, uh, in the level amplifiers uh, section uh, to check the uh, full scale voltage of the signal so generally it is a 10 volt uh, uh, supply and uh, the accuracy of this uh, reference voltage uh, is also very very important and it should be very stable and uh, uh, should have a constant value <clears throat> if it is slightly varying with the time so that leads to uh, that leads to the lower accuracy of the digital to analog avatar so these are the two important points uh, uh, as far as the accuracy of an digital to analog converters are concerned. And next, uh, <clears throat> we'll see what is the uh, meaning of uh, resolution. So resolution, on the other hand, uh, defines uh, the smallest increment in voltage that can be discerned or detected. So, <clears throat> uh the output voltage how much we can detect uh by this uh digital analog converter uh is the is the is the is or it it makes the uh, resolution and uh, resolution is primarily a function of the number of bits uh, in the digital input signal so this uh, resolution depends upon how many bits are used in the digital input section uh, is very, very important. And depending upon the number of bits used in digital section, the resolution of a digital to analog converter is defined. And uh, higher the number of bits used in the input section, uh, higher will be the resolution of the digital to analog converter. So, uh, and uh, the smallest increment in output voltage is determined uh, by the LSP. LSP means uh, the least significant bit. So this, uh, uh, this, uh, the value of this LSP is very, very important. Uh, lower the value of LSP, higher will be the resolution. So we can, will uh, we'll understand this uh, resolution uh, by, do, by doing some calculations uh, uh, as below. And let us check the resolution of different uh, bit systems. Assume that zero means zero volt uh, and one means the 10 volt uh, for all the systems. So first uh, I will consider the three bit system. Uh, for a three bit system, LSB is given by, LSB is equal to 10 into one by seven is equal to 1, 1.4285 volts because in three bit uh, system, uh, the, the 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 binary weighted weight weight or the digital uh, binary equivalent weight of the LSB in three bit system is one by seven because uh, seven levels are uh, for created between zero and one. Uh, so uh, this uh, full scale voltage of ten volt ten volt is multiplied to this one by seven. So I am getting this as one point four two eight five as the LSP value for three bit system. <clears throat> so for four bit system, it uh, it is uh, equal to 10 into one by 15 is equal to 0 0.666 volt uh, because between zero and one 16 levels are created. And why 15 uh, comes here because uh, the LSP is obtained by making use of the formula one divided by two raised to N minus one where n gives the number of bits uh, and here uh, the number of bits is four so it is two raised to four two raised to four minus one two raised to four is 16 16 minus one is 15 so in this way i got this value or binary equivalent weight of this lsb in case of a four bit system so it is one by 15 and multiply these two you will get a 0 0.666 volt as the LSP value. <clears throat> so for five bit system, uh, equ the binary equivalent weight is one by 31 and uh, multiplied by 10 gives uh, 
0.322 because there are 32 levels between 0 and 1. And for the 6 bit system, it is 1 by 63 because 64 levels are there between 0 and 1. So this gives 0 0.158 volt. And for 10 bit system, it is equal to 10 into 1 by 1024. This is equal to 9.75 millivolt and nearly is equal to 10 millivolt. <clears throat> so from this calculation, what is observed is that uh, for three bit uh, uh, system, LSP is 1.4285. For four bit system, it is uh, 0 0.666 volt. And for five bit system, it is 0 0.32. For six bit, it is 0 0.15. And for 10 bit, it is 9.7 millivolt. So what is observed here is that as the number of bits in the converter increases, uh, uh, the LSP value goes on decreasing like this, goes on decreasing like this. So this indicates that as the number of, as the number of uh, bits uh, increases uh, in a digital analog counter system, uh, the resolution of that system increases. And uh, LSP is equal to 1.4285 means what? That means the voltage level changes at the input uh, should be of the order of 1.42 or at least of the order of 1.5 volts. Then only it is detected by the on digital system, otherwise no. Suppose there is a, some voltage level uh, changes by a magnitude of 0 0.6 volt, uh, then it is not detected by a three-bit system. Uh, this this three-bit system will not respond to this uh, voltage variation. And uh, so four-bit system means uh, the voltage level changes should be up to under of this much. Suppose if uh, a uh, voltage level of 0.32 is, is there in the input time, it is not detected by the four bit system or the four bit system will not respond to that changes. So in this way, you can see here, a 10 bit system, the 10 bit system will respond to a voltage change as low as 10 to the power of millivolt, millivolt. So, so much accurate resolution uh, he, he comes to this 10-bit uh, system. If you want still a higher uh, value of a resolution, you have to uh, again increase up the number of bits uh, or we have to go beyond 10-bit system, like a 15-bit or 20-bit like that. If you have to go up, then you may have the resolution of uh, 10 micro volts. That means uh, if you want a resolution in terms of micro volts, uh, you have to go up to, to the higher systems like 15 bit, uh, 20 bit, like that. So, uh, this is the uh, meaning of a resolution. And by this calculation, we have understood uh, how the resolution changes with the number of bits uh, in a digital analog. Water. So it is clear uh, from our calculation that uh, three bit system responses only to voltage level at the uh, input uh, level changes by 1.5 volt, four bit system responses to 0 0.66 volt, and so on. Therefore, as the number of bits at the input end increases, uh, the resolution of the converter increases uh, proportionally. And so this is the this is about uh, uh, accuracy and resolution of uh, and a digital to analog converter. Thanks for listening.